Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, there's one thing that this is going to take us into that it's important that we begin to understand because science as it is today does not make this distinction and neither do New Age teachings. The difference between vibration and oscillation. Most people use those words interchangeably as if they mean the same thing. You know, you know like, oh, I'm going to raise my vibration. You know, or they don't usually say, I'm going to do anything to my oscillation. <laughs> right? They use the word vibration. But it's tricky, tricky, tricky because oscillation is the turning on. All right? When you raise your oscillation, you are raising your frequency. You are bringing in higher frequency. Now, if you say, I'm going to raise my vibration, it means you're lowering your oscillation. It means you're slowing yourself down. It means you're lowering your frequency. There's a trick that's being run in the New Age movement where we're taught to raise our vibration so we can really slow ourselves down to the point where we can't get any of our higher consciousness into our body. Some of those teachings are being built under Christ consciousness teachings. Good luck. <laughs> so if we understand that there are some core differences when we understand core creation physics, when a thing is vibrating, it's in its contracted, dormant state, like a particum. It's like the silent song, the pre-sound aspect. And when it comes into activation and forms a standing scalar wave, where that light bulb turns on, that is its oscillation form. So we have vibration and oscillation, vibration and oscillation. And if you want to get higher frequency into your body, frequency is sets of dimensional flash line sequences. If you want higher frequency, you want higher flash line sequences, which means you want things that flash on and off faster. You want to raise your oscillation rate. You want to lower your vibration. So there's little tricks.